Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Mystical. Today, I am bringing you every build that you need for 10.2 for both PvE and PvP, Fist Weaving, Cast and Mist Weaver for everything. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Every single build will be in the description, so you'll be able to just import it straight into your talents. And with that said, let's jump right into the video. Before I talk about the talents, I just want to talk about the tier set. I would highly recommend, no matter what content you do, and whether you're fist weaving or cast and mist weaving, you should probably get four set. It's really, really strong. Renewing mist can be applied whether you're fist weaving or casting. It works with rapid diffusion, so you can use envelop mist or rising sun kick to apply the renewing mist that will give your teammates the chi harmony buff. For PvP, I would get the helm, shoulders, chest, and gloves. For PvE, I think you could probably get all five pieces is fine because I think the stats are fine for PvE. I'll start with PvP. So this is for normal 3v3 arena. For normal 3s, I will be running Verse, Mastery, Haste. So you want roughly 15 to 16% Haste, Rest, Mastery, and Verse. That's what I would recommend. That's what I've been running for 2s and 3s. This build is just based around healing and your Mastery. So on the left-hand side, nothing's really going to change. You do get one extra point with the skip from reality only having one point. So I think I put one point into Grace of Crane, Grace of the Crane. You can kind of put this point anywhere. It doesn't really matter where you put it. It just, there's not where... I mean, you could put it into Taunt as well if you're running into a Hunter. Taunting the pet is actually really good, so you could just swap that. On the right-hand side, nothing too crazy here. It's actually pretty standard. I pretty much just dropped the Uplifted Spirits talent and put it into Healing Elixir because they swapped the Zen Pulse and Healing Elixir uh, talents. And then from there, you're just getting the Vivify Cleave heal, getting Rapid Diffusion, going all the way down the tree to get Peaceful Mending. That makes it so you heal more on targets with Soothing Mist on them. And then getting your tier of warning, which is really good. This whole build is based around Cloud of Focus, which is just a very strong healing buff you get when you use Envelop Mist and Vivify when you're channeling Soothing Mist. And then you're getting Resplendent Mist for the extra mastery because you're stacking mastery. Really good spread healing with many proliferation. And I love Tea of Serenity. This is like my favorite talent in this whole tree. So you get the chance of get you get two Renewing Mist, Envelop Mist, or Vivify at random, and they're all really, really useful. So that's why I like it with this build. Next up is Solo Shuffle, and I go heavy haste verse. So I have about 37% haste, 31% verse. I go very little mastery because this build is based around your hots. Ascent, that pretty much it. Your Rapid Diffusion is going to apply the Renewing Mist that you need, and you're just going to be spamming Envelop Mist, not spamming, but trying to you weave in your manatees with envelop mist so you get value out of your peaceful mending and you're just doing a ton of healing with your cloud of focus on the left hand side nothing really changes your i put one point into fast feet for damage this point can really go anywhere you want i don't i, I really don't know if you're playing it's against uh, a hunter you could probably put it into hasty provoke provocation but you could also maybe put it in elusive mist. It doesn't really matter. I really like fast feet because it helps kill totems for shaman and stuff like that. You can like kill pets easier when you do a little bit more damage. On the right hand side, you could, oh, you could also put it here. But in solo shuffle, you're only going to use four brew once around. So and most teams don't really target you. So I don't think it's worth it to put it there. But you could if you want to make a stronger four brew. That's fine too. In the right hand side, again, you're pretty much just running haste and you're using envelop mist to apply your renewing mist and you're just taking advantage of cloud of focus healing and mana reduction to keep your teammates alive that's pretty much it you're also going to take advantage of the short ulon so that you have strong hots when you press it and you use envelop mist when you use ulon you get the enveloping breath and it's just so much healing i do use shaylun's gift shaylun's gift was really good i was trying out misty peaks but with the recent nerf to misty peaks i don't like it which is sad because I really, really, really liked Misty Peaks and I really wanted it to work, but it just doesn't work. It just the proc chance is so bad now. So I do run Shaylun's Gift, really, really good. Use Shaylun's Gift when you get a precog buff. When you can, when you kick, you get precog. Use Shaylun's Gift. It's fantastic. I do run with Shaha's Lessons. The buffs are really, really strong in Shuffle, especially when you get the haste and damage reduction and the bonus healing. It does add up over this over the course of a round. So it's very, very good to play, play like Shaylun's Gift with Shaha's Lessons. And of course, in Solo Shuffle and Nor Arena, you can Fist Weave. Fist Weave is very strong. It's going to be better than Cast and Mist Weaver, I believe, this patch in PvP. On the left-hand side, you're going to see one weird thing as I do run Statue. I'll show you why in a second. But on the left-hand side, nothing really changes outside of the fact that you do put your points into Ferocity of Xuan for the increase in damage, and you're going to run Fast Feet for the increased damage to Rising Sun Kick. When you're Fist Weaving, the more damage you do, the more healing you're going to do. You have The only healing you have is damage, so you need to do as much damage as you can. Outside of that, nothing really changes. There's really not much of a flex point here, actually. It's a pretty... It's a pretty solid build. There, I, I couldn't change anything here. You 
could maybe drop disarm if you're playing with like a death knight a warrior a wind walker something with a spamble slow you can definitely drop disable and put it into like you know a fort brew talent or if you wanted to i don't know put it into there you're not gonna be pressing that it's an instant vivify but you're not really using that that often in pvp so I would recommend just keeping it in disable. If maybe you're playing against an an assassination rogue or feral druid, you put it into improved, de improved detox for the poison and disease. But outside of that, there really isn't much I would change on the left hand side. On the right hand side, I am playing all the fist weaving talents that you can. So you start with just the normal builds. Definitely play with restoral because you need to use it while stunned. Left hand side, you're going to go all the way down the feyline stomp or down to awaken feyline. And the great thing about this patch, like I recommend it in the PVE section of the of, for Mythic Plus fist weaving, is each concordance is only one point now. So that extra point I put into focus thunder. This is an amazing change for fist weavers and for mist weavers in general i'll demonstrate it really quick what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to thunder focus see rising sun kick tiger palm into a rising sun kick into a tiger palm into another rising sun kick into a tiger palm get your builds from the teaching the monastery blackout kick get rising sun kick that right there is a, so much damage and healing it's i would be surprised if it didn't get nerfed i think it's super super strong um outside of that i mentioned that i play statue the reason why i play statue is because i do play common coalescence when you when you fist weave you have a very weak life cocoon life cocoon can easily get burst through one chaos bolt one insane mortal strike from warriors you will th they'll go straight through it so what i do is i'll weave in a soothing mist because the soothing mist will ch will keep channeling even though i'm not casting soothing mist the statue does and i will get stacks of common coalescence and this will make my life cocoon bigger so even if i get to about like 20 stacks that's fine it makes life cocoon bigger and that's why i run it that is a one small tech you don't have to run that you can drop statue put it into like stronger uh, fort brew you can even drop this talent and put it somewhere else like here but that's what i play feel free to change it if you don't like it uh outside of that Pretty standard talent. You're gonna be playing the Energizing Brew for more mana. I do play Shaloon's Gift because again, Misty Peaks was just gutted, really. And then you're gonna play Rising Mist. So that's why I run for Fist Weaving PvP. You can run this build, this build right here. It you can run in shuffle or you know normal arena twos and threes. Next up is RBGs, and I run Haste Verse as well for RBGs. On the left hand side, nothing again, nothing really changes. I do maximize my defensives though. I do go for brew with the stronger. Uh, for brew that way i have you know i don't die i do also go the expel harm talents because i want as much self-healing as i can and outside of that nothing really changes that much i would say the one talent that you could probably change is drop grace to the crane and get the escape from reality i didn't realize i didn't change that i would definitely get escape from reality i feel like a lot of teams are going to try to target you as a misweaver so having the two ports is pretty important on the right hand side i do go haste verse the only part about this build that is is slightly weird is you do want to get your to tier of mourning like you really 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 want tier of mourning so these two points are kind of awkward because i think misty peaks is is super nerfed it could be it could be valuable in team fight maps like eye the storm you know wrathy basin war sun gold silver shard mine stuff like that battle for gilneas if there's a big team fight that's kind of what the whole battleground's around maybe it's worth it because you're going to get a lot of renewing mists out but and, and then also for peaceful mending you're not really using soothing mist that often i guess with your statue you might be so that could be worth it and then i feel like shaylin's gift you're not gonna have enough time to cast it so i do go peaceful mending over misty peaks to get to tier of mourning and then you're also going to go yulon and i secret infusion i run secret infusion for the extra haste with or versatility of rising sun kick or mastery from vivify or haste from renewing mist i most of the time i use it for a thunder focus t renewing mist for the extra haste i can get up to like 80 percent haste which is cracked and then i do run invoker's delight so whenever i use yulon i have 33 percent haste so essentially if i use all of my modifiers i can get up to about 120 percent haste from thunder focus t renewing mist with yulon and then you get a focus light with 33 percent haste which is crazy good right that's absolutely freaking insane for mythic plus you will be primarily fist weaving and your stats will be haste crit verse mastery you want as much haste as you can followed by crit you get a lot of value out of your haste with your renewing mist and the faster your globals are the more damage you'll be able to do which means you'll do more damage which results in more healing so on the left hand side again there really isn't much that changes over here you do get the extra point from not having to put it into escape from reality so i put it into bounce back i can't find a way to put a second point into bounce back i really can't you could drop one into from generous pour and put it into bounce back 
Uh, if you don't think it's that strong, you could also Fatal Touch. You could also put it here, but then you lose Resonant Fist. So if you do want to get two points into Bounce Back, take one out of Generous Pour and put it into Bounce Back. That's fine. You can maybe take one out from Save Them All. That way you get that, um, the Generous Pour and the Bounce Back as well. Both are good, but I really think that the Save Them All is actually really, really strong. So I wouldn't do that. And then that's pretty much it. You're going to be running Diffuse Magic, Damp and Harm. Really two strong good defensives there. And you're going to be running Damage Talents because you are going to be Fist Weaving a lot of the time. So you're going to go Ferocity, Ferocity of Zhuen, and Fast Feet for the extra damage. On the right-hand side, you're going to be Fist Weaving, which is really, really good. The good thing, the good change that happened this patch is that Ancient Concordance is only a rank one. It's, you only have to put one talent into it. So with that talent, I put it into Focus Thunder, which is fantastic for fist weaving. So what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to use your Thunder Focus T, Rising Sun Kick, and then get a Tiger Palm, Rising Sun Kick again. And you get you can do that every 30 seconds as well. Um, you'll also see that they change the Healing Elixir and Zen Pulse location in the talent tree kind of it didn't change much in the tree you just go healing elixir and zen pulse here which is fine and there's really not much else that changes there and of course you can be fist weaving so you can go chi g you can go short chi g with ancient teachings and that's your fist weaving build for pve you're also going to be running shaylun's gift i kind of prefer the short shaylun's gift which makes it so you get a cloud every four seconds over the Sh shao house lessons which gives you a buff because i kind of like the consistent healing you get from shaylun's gift and you have that for pretty much any large pull and it's, oh, it's a really good heal too so i would highly recommend trying at least veil pride and that's pretty much it for mythic plus fist weaving i think this is a really good build I'm going to apologize really quick. There was one small change. I would be playing Energizing Brew and not Life Cycles when Fist Weaving. You get way more mana and it's way more efficient while you're chain pulling to run Energizing Brew over Life Cycles. So that's the one change I would make that is updated in the description as well when you import it. I did not forget about the casting Mistweavers in Mythic Plus. I really, really, really like casting in Mythic Plus. I know, and a lot of people do too. I, I'm happy you enjoy watching those videos. I do enjoy it. So nothing has changed really besides the fact that I put two points into Bounce Back. That's pretty much it. That Nothing changes. I don't really have a point in here for Escape from Reality. There really aren't many uses for it. At, you know when i'm casting when i'm playing from ranged it's really just way more chill there aren't many mechanics where i'm gonna have to pour it twice to avoid them so i just drop the point and put two points into bounce back i also put two points into fast feet because i do like to do damage when i can and on the right hand side pretty standard there really isn't anything crazy here i do run haste verse as well and you're gonna want to just go on the left hand side get chrysalis get your mist of life and then get common coalescence for a big life cocoon and then on the right hand side i just go for haste i go haste verse again so i have shaylun's gift i go for a dancing mist for the extra chance of renewing mists I get my Rapid Diffusion, my Yulon, and my Cloud of Focus. It's a pretty standard build. If there's anyone that I don't see many people, and I don't see many other cast of Mistweaver. So if anyone here plays a cast of Mistweaver Mythic Plus, please, please share your link, share your talents so I can use them and copy them. I will be more than happy to try them out because I'm just kind of, this is like a Frankenstein build here. I'm just kind of putting it all together. I change things around uh, pretty often. So yeah, if you have any questions at all, please let me know. I am more than happy to change things if they seem odd. I did not forget about the Raiders. I love raiding. Raiding is a lot of fun. And on the left-hand side here, there really isn't much that changes too much. You do run Chi Burst for the extra AoE healing. The one thing that is slightly weird is I do put one point into Bounce Back. I don't know how to get a second point here. It's just so... The, the talents are so tight for this build that I... I mean, you could drop Improved Roll if you really wanted to. Or you could drop Solarity. So you could you could maybe just run like two charges of Roll if you really wanted to. And get go put a second to bounce back, but I feel like Mistweaver mobility in general is like really important. And most boss fights you're gonna need to dodge mechanics. So, and I think it's kind of easy to run out of mobility if you're not paying attention. So, if you really want, if you're good with your mobility and you're not gonna run out and you're not gonna get hit by mechanics, maybe drop one celerity and then you know put it into um, bounce back or improved roll at least something like that. But I only put one point into here. I feel like most raiding mechanics, if you get hit by it, you're dead anyway. <laughs> I do run haste crit 
verse for this build as well so a lot of the talents that i'm choosing are based around haste and maximizing our renewing mist so you'll see this is also the casted build i do have a fist sweeping build this is you're just going to go down to getting life cocoon with chrysalis if any you know if your tank needs help with life cocoon you can normally get a pretty decent life cocoon it's also good for saving other healers if they're going to get hit by mechanics and then straight down the middle of this build you're going to be running dancing mists as well as secret infusion invoker's delight and unison for the extra healing and then you're going to want to run rising mist so with rising mist you're going to be trying to maximize your renewing mist and extending those hots you're going to put renewing mist on as many people as possible you can create more renewing mists with rapid diffusion with your rising sun kick or enveloping mist and then you're going to extend those renewing mists with rising mist and this is very important especially with our four our two and four set being able to keep up as many renewing mists as possible you're gonna be able to maximize your overall healing output and your in your spread healing it's gonna be crazy good it, th this is gonna be a really really good build it's, i think it's gonna be a good season for healing output for mistweavers even though we don't have we don't have damage direction we have a lot a lot of healing output and i'm looking forward to trying out in raids finally here is the build i use for raiding if i want to fist weave i actually prefer fist weaving in raids i think it's a lot of fun on the left hand side i don't think much changes i do get two points of bounce back you get the chi burst for aoe healing defensives you have dampen harm and fort brew and then you're gonna have yulon's grace for a little extra defensive there really isn't much that changes outside the fact that you kind of want to run for us for us the Juen and fast feet for the extra damage because you're fist weaving so the more damage you do the more healing you can do on the right hand side nothing is really insane here again you're gonna be running haste crit verse mastery you do not want mastery when you fist weave and you're gonna be taking chi g as well as ancient teachings for the healing for your fist weaving short chi g as well with the one minute cooldown on it and then right here is kind of the bread and butter of this build you're gonna be running haste so you're gonna have dancing mist which gives your renewing mist a chance to spread you're also gonna be running rapid fusion which will put your renewing mist on a teammate or a party member raid member um within 40 yards and that will also put you two set on them so you get the extra healing and then misty peaks as well which is really really good the proc chance again is pretty low but it's still worth it and then i'm going to be running secret infusion with invoker's delight for the extra haste from there you also have shade Loon's gift with the shadows lessons and rising mist that rising mist is going to extend all of your renewing mists which is really really important for your two set and just for maximizing your healing output and that's pretty much what i'll be running if i raid and fist weave and that is pretty much it that is every single build that you're going to need for 10.2 no matter what content you do there is always an option to either cast or fist weave it just depends on what you want to do overall i think mist weavers are looking relatively solid i'm looking forward to seeing how we do in raid and mythic plus and pvp of course i'm looking forward to that as well and that is pretty much it if you have any questions at all please let me know if you have any builds you want me to try or if you want to share a build please i am more than happy to try any build i love changing things up i love messing and tinkering with things so please let me know if you have a build that's either weird or you want to see me try it i'm more than happy that is it for me hope everyone has a fantastic rest of your day hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you later